So, Allison, what about writing memoir resonates with you compared to other forms that you could write? Well, I was telling Marcus on the way up that I really like typing the word I, so that's pretty much it. Um, I study fiction, and I'm not sure where memoir came from, except for the fact that I found that it was really compelling to look inward. Um, and I think that there's a challenge there, I think there's adventure there, I think that there's really a risk there that is really something. I mean, to take what is meaningful to you, to take what may have hurt you, and both turn it inward and turn it outward, um, I think is really rewarding. So that's, that's something that really resonates with me. Thank you. How hard was it to be totally honest about those childhood experiences, and what do you think is the obligation of a memoirist with respect to depictions of other people? I think that's a great question, I think every memoirist has to answer that for themselves. Um, for me, I think the real apex of that sort of question is when my mom read something that, she actually read what I had written, what I read today, and she called me in tears and said, that's great. And I thought that was really interesting. Like she was very moved by it. She was very affected by it. But she always also really liked the writing. Um, in terms of obligation, I think every memoirist has to decide that for themselves. I think everybody has to, to assess what they can do and what they can't, um, what they can say and what they can't. But I think I was talking to my husband about this earlier, and I think that the, the best thing that could happen is that it can open up new dialogues and new, new lines of... of talking and I hope that that happens with my family I can only hope so that's 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 my hope I, and I hope to reach many more people than that though and uh, when we're all done we'll have questions from the audience by the way so be thinking of your smart questions for the writers okay. this is your chance to get into their brains so Allison after this memoir what's next on your literary horizon I plan to drink a whole hell of a lot. Um, <laughs> I'm starting off here at Paris. Best place to start. Um, I'm writing a memoir actually about uh, having a lap band undergoing weight loss or drink. Um, and that's something I'm having a lot of trouble with actually because it only happened a year ago and it's kind of difficult to have that distance and that perspective the way that you might with something that happened as a kid. Um, so that's sort of my next thing. I'm writing also a lot of flash fiction. And as I said, I'm drinking a lot. So, you know, my, my plate is full. <laughs> Your cup is full. My cup is full. So, do, actually, we can, sorry, we're sort of improving this as we go. Are there any questions for Allison from the audience now? And I can bring out the mic. Uh, Cindy. When you're writing memoir, how, and you're going based on your experiences, do you go back and talk to the other people who were there and try to um, come up with the actual factual things that happened, or do you kind of stick with your own perception of the experience? Because I know sometimes they can be very different. Zowie! I think that's a great question. Um, I think that's something every writer would have to answer for themselves. But for me, I think I really am coming from my own perspective. Um, that's something that I I felt like I had to kind of do on my own. I mean, there's, and in that, I think that there's, there's moments of fiction. There's moments of collapsing. There's moments of combining. Um, but hopefully there's moments, hopefully the emotional veracity is still there. So... It's hard to, to go to my family and say, gee, when I was diagnosed, you know, what had, do you remember that? And, and I didn't. Um, I just sort of came up with it on my own. Um, and I hope that there's truth to that. I believe there's truth to that. But if my parents were here, they might tell you something different, and that's fine. Like, I would welcome them to do that. I think every truth has many, many facets. So, you know, it'd be interesting to see if this gets published, what people have to say about it. Any other questions from the audience for Allison? This is, not, this is your chance. Actually, we might have another chance. So, okay, thank you very much, Allison, for reading and for uh, being part of the Inquisition. Thank you.